Damn you. Why was that important for you to really kind of step up your leadership skills this year? I don't mean, I don't just think I did it this year. I, I think, like, that's just important in general. Um, and, you know, it's my job to hold guys accountable along with other guys. And, you know, it's just it's a ton of expectations. There's a ton of things that we want to do this year, that we should do this year. But um, you have to slow down and, and learn just how to execute one play at a time. And while every all the pressure is on, like, how do you simplify, you know, excuse me, I'm sorry. How do you simplify, you know, um, playing at a high level every single play? So I think that way, you know, just bringing the guys back and just taking us back to square one, you know, what happened, happened, and it's time to move on. And that's going to happen in the season, you know. But, um, you know, I just think uh, if it comes from me, it means a lot. And, you know, now I'm stepping into the role even more and more. So, you know, I'm just accepting that and having fun with it, you know, being myself. And I just want everybody around me to, to eat off that. I tell them, like, this, this sport can change your life if you do it the right way. So, you know, being accountable, you know, doing the extra stuff away from the, uh, the facility, that stuff matters at the end of the day because all the expectations and all that pressure, that really doesn't matter if you do those things, you know. So, What are your expectations for year two in this offense? I'll just keep going. You know, the name of the game is just execution. You know, um, the times where we executed at a high level, the times we won those games, you know. So, um that's just the goal is just to execute and to be able to be on the same page, build chemistry right now. So, you know, when the, t when the ball rolls, you know, we're ready, re ready to fly around at a high level. So, I mean, that's the goal and that's, that's you know, there's goals on top of that, but that's the, that's the foundation right now. OTA is the foundation work, so. CJ, I know, that, I know that it's still pretty early, but how has it been so far getting to work with Diggs and how is he fitting in so far? He's been fitting in great. You know, he's come in with his head down mentality, just working. Um, you know, he's helped me out a lot. Just, you know, he com comes from a from a, a good system over there where he, when he was with the Bills and they did a lot of things with him and really just offense and tell me how, like, Josh played and things like that, things that, you know, um, we do different, that we've had just plenty of conversation, you know. So he been, he's come in and, and been a leader, which which I'm proud of him for, and, you know, just really is, has been unselfish and, uh, wanted to see other guys eat, and that was his main thing. Is like he wanted to be around other dogs, and you know he he, he stepped into that role where there's a dog everywhere. Every he looks right, he looks left. There's gonna be a dog, so um, and he wanted that, and that's what you know we we bring to the table. And he's been nothing but just amazing so far, and I, I'm very excited to work with him. CJ, as a friend, as a teammate, as a human being, what's it like to have your friend Tank back with you guys? What was it like to go from the gamut of emotions from hearing about it? to now when it's over and you're back out there on the field having fun? It's amazing. You know, it's, it's just a testament to him and, you know, one, the guy we serve, um, and then two, uh, just the work that he's put in. You know, he's been, uh, you know, he came back before it was even scheduled. He can get cleared. And then on top of that, you know, just coming back after that freak accident. And, you know, I think that we serve a guy that's merciful and that's that's purposeful. And he knows that and he's stepping to it. And me and him, we have those conversations about our faith, and then, because like this football stuff, it, it seems like it's everything, but it's not. You know, we're we're people, and we we go through a lot off the field. People don't know, and you know, as his brother, I have to be there for him, like just like he's there for me when I go through what I go through. Um, so I mean, I'm just proud of him, man. Like the word proud is even probably enough to like state the um, the feelings that I have for that guy, man. He's my one of my best friends um, that I've. You know, gotten to know over the years in this in this world of football, and past that, man, I feel like I've known since I've been three years old. You know, I think for like our connection is kind of like we grew up together, and you know, I just got a lot of love for that guy, and you know, I'm very excited for him. He's been snapping at practice and doing really well, and you know, to knock off the rust that quick shows how much work he's been in. How much more comfortable are you walking up to OTAs this year compared to last year? Things kind of a little bit slower. Just how, what's the biggest difference to you? Yeah, it's night and day, man. It's um, really like I feel like I'm running the show, and um, I've got a lot more responsibilities from Slow and from D'Amico, from Gerard, um, Bill, and really our whole offensive staff. And you know, I'm the captain of the ship, and I got to run it the right way. And I feel like I've, you know, stepped into that role of just, you know, not not only 
hold guys accountable, but also, you know, hold myself accountable to those moments. Like, I don't let anything slide because uh, that's, that's the point of winning and losing. So um, I think from last year to this year, like, I've gotten a lot better with, like, controlling my emotions, controlling my ball placement, knowing what's NFL open, knowing my footwork better. Um, just really every little thing I've taken a step. And then on the other side of the ball, you know, just everything slowed down, seeing coverage. Um, D'Amico does a good job of blitzing me and, you know, working on their different coverages or different looks. To start too high, go to one, go back to two, motion like his man, go to cover two, like all that stuff to keep me true and honest. And, you know, I think I've tried to do my best with my off-season study to, you know, um, be better. And I feel like I've done that and had a good OTA so far. So got to finish with that mini camp. But it's been definitely a, a big transition of just more comfortability uh, from last year to this year. Since college, you, you always had like a really talented receiver room. And then last year, you had a talented receiver room. So you've had the experience of having to feed a lot of guys. Obviously, you had in Diggs, even Joe Mixon coming out of the backfield. Um, how much would that experience from those, you know, college and last year help you with being able to make sure that everybody's being fed the way they are so you can you know, have the best possible offense that you guys are capable of? Yeah, I mean, I don't think nothing changes. You know, it's like I tell, I tell guys because – I get that question a lot from like guy people just walking around just anywhere, an Astro game, whatever. And I'm like, man, it's football. You know, if you're open, you get the ball. Um, so, uh, and my thing is, you got to pick your poison playing this. Like, who are you going to double? Who are you going to cater to? Who you like? You got five dogs who are who are able to get the get the ball in each given play. You know, so um, I think it's fine. I know Slow has done a great job of being more creative, and you know, has put um, different personnel packages out there, guys in different. Positions that um, going from inside to outside, you know, um, and you know I'm I'm very um, excited to work with, with Coach Low again. He's done amazing so far, you know, OTAs, and will continue to do such. Um, but yeah, man, I think that past experience of playing with Marv, Jax, Garrett, Chris, um, JMO, um, Mameka, Julian, like those type of guys, um, they'll tell you too. Like I know they'll probably have said it before, but. They'll tell you, like, they made me better and I made them better. You know, that's um, my job is to make everybody around me better. So um, I'm excited, man. It's been healthy competition. Like, I know Garrett, I seen his interview the other day. He was talking about Ohio State, how, like, the receivers, like, if Garrett made a play, Chris is like, nah, watch this. Like, it's the same thing here, which is, you know, really cool to watch. And, you know, as a quarterbacks, me, Davis, and Case, and Tim were the same way too. So healthy competition is the best way to grow and get better. And I think that that's what um, it's about. You see how excited Diggs gets for Tank when he makes a play, and Mitch gets for excited for when Nico makes a play, and Tank gets excited when Rob makes a play. You know, so it's amazing. And you know, we got Noah coming back too, which is going to be amazing. And I'm excited. You got Ben there, and a ton of guys. There's a ton of talent. Steve's showing up. Um, really, everybody's really been doing. Jay Wayne, Johnny. You know, so and man, it's been fun. CJ, you went out and got, uh, Nick went out and got you. Um, some some extra talent on the offensive side of the ball. But what do you think about the additions that he made on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, man, it's been great. It's been good on good. Like Demi always talks about iron shop iron. You know, it's been a lot of smack talk, a lot of just uh, just good competition. You know, and it starts with me and Aziz. You know, him being the leader of defense, I'm the leader of offense. And you know, playing him last year, I mean, he always showed up on tape when I watched the Titans last year. So. Um, it's cool to like see like the stuff he thinks we you can see him at my locker or me at his or us before practice after practice talking about plays and you know um, so I mean it starts with us and then when you add Danielle somebody who's a vet who plays really hard who's going to help Will you know and them two dogs you got Tim in the, in the middle uh, with Autry and, and um, Sosa and um, just a ton of guys man you know in the back end you got young guys showing up um, Kaylin's doing really well on the back end, along with Petrie and um, Jimmy, along with Kamari. Kamari's showing up. Sting is playing well, as y'all seen. Uh, so, man, this has been dogs on dogs, you know, like, and that's, 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 that's the best teams I've ever been on. It's been the closest teams personally, but also the most competitive team. So it's been dope. What does that do for you, just knowing that you have a familiar target to work with for the next few years? Um, you know, it's just something that I'm – first of all, I'm just proud of that guy. Um, my brother Nico, he's shown up and shown out, you know, when um, you know when his number is called, he always makes a play. And, you know, he's just a special – he's a generational talent, man. He's, 
he's <laughs> like our age is Andre Johnson, in my opinion, of just how fast he is, how he gets in and out of his braces, releases, how strong he is. And I think last year was just a, uh, a preview to what is to come for him. And the one thing I'm proud of him for is just the work has never stopped. He's constantly in here working on his body, constantly in here working on his hands, his, his mobility in the weight room, you know. So uh, for me, I mean, just having a, a true, uh, I think we have like five number ones, <laughs> you know, so that's kind of cool to have. And I've had that before in college and I'll have it again. And it's going to be fun, man. And Nico, um, he's going to, he's, he loves to see everybody else eat too. So, man, his, his love for his brothers hasn't changed. And, you know, it's, it's a, it's a special feeling to see somebody who deserves it get paid and, you know, get what they, what they deserve. And, um, you know, I'm just really proud of him. What does it mean for you to have another opportunity to work with Bobby Sola and Gerard Johnson? I don't know if you remember, that was a moment going into the playoffs last season where you really didn't know if either one of those guys would be here. Yeah, I mean, for both of them to come back was very special. Um, I think we both, we all have a better feel of how to work with one another and, you know, the talent I am on the field and the play caller that uh, Bobby is and then the, the common coach Gerard is, you know, we all work together in that. And, you know, um, Slow is, I'm in his office almost every morning just going over stuff and watching film with him, going over things that we need to go to get better at. And um, he always has his friends you know, working for the end at mine, and, you know, um, he holds me accountable when, you know, it could be easier just to, like, let me slide because, you know, I'm, I'm out there still making plays, but he's like, no, nah, you need to be better here, here, and there. And, you know, that, that just uh, shows what type of a leader he is, and, you know, it's an uh, honor to be able to work with him again. Um, and same for me, like, to him, like, hey, Flo, I'm not really feeling this play, or I want to add this play to try to see if we can get better here in this in this practice or – you know, I think we can be really good at this type of play. Or, and he's very, very um, accepting when it comes to that. So it's been cool to work with both of them. And I'm very excited to get another year on our belt. What was it like teaching last two right here? What was it like uh, teaching football uh, internationally and the, the, the reception that you got from the people there? It was, it was amazing. Um, you know, uh, first of all, shout out to Beijing, Shanghai, and Tokyo, you know, for – Accepting me and Micah uh, with open arms and just the hospitality and the uh, just the culture, man, there is just amazing. They want to learn about football, you know, and um, it's it was cool just to see like them already have like the foundation of it, but wanting to grow from there. And you know, I think football is a family sport, and like those people are our family now. And you know, the Olympics come in to where it's going to be international um, with flag football. I think that's super dope, and to be able to get. You know, to be able to put our feet into those um, those uh, doors already, you know, it's kind of cool, you know. So, I mean, I'm very grateful of my team um, with uh, uh, Bernie and David for setting that up. And um, even, like, the guys out there who, who gave us top-notch hospitality, um, it, it was just amazing, man, the whole experience. So, you know, just my first time really out the country and just being able to, like, go to the Great Wall of China and all that stuff. And, still do what I love to do, you know, working out with Micah was cool and uh, he has a lot of crazy takes, but, you know, I, I got love for that guy, um, but it was fun, man. John and Jonathan, Dan. What, uh, what's it like having Kate Stover down here with you and what's your relationship been like with him? Oh, uh, yeah, Kate's my brother, man. You know, I've been through thick and thin with him um, and he's somebody who I, um, I often look at as like, like, our moms are like the same. Our, our families are super close since college. Um, I think he's like my blood brother, from like somewhere far down the line. I don't know how it works, but I just, he's always like there for me. He's always, you know, um, I don't know, man. Kate is just like that guy. He's a brother that you, uh, they talk about in the Bible, you know, like that. Like it's, 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 he's a friend that is, you know, like just like a brother. And I don't know. The word brother just always just comes up with that. Like he's just always there. To, you know, hold me up, and he sees me, and he knows my emotions. And for him to be able to uh, come on the Texans and, you know, already add values is amazing. You know, he's a hard worker. Uh, Y'all know his background with the farm and things like that. So I'm very excited for him, and he's been doing well in OTAs, you know, very smart, um, very great with his hands, and just, you know, growing his route running, growing his ability to um, to get open and things like that. So uh, I'm amazed to have another Buckeye on the team. We mentioned last time we talked to you about John Mechie, uh, 
and we saw the plays he made out there today. What do you think about the work he put in to get to the point he is? On? Another guy like the word proud doesn't like it doesn't give it enough like of how I feel about what he's gone through and what he's been able to do. <clears throat> Um, as y'all can see, man, he's running some of the best routes I've ever seen. His lateral quickness, he's able to stop, stop and start. Um, and, you know, he's one other person who's been through a lot as well, you know, fighting cancer, then fighting an injury that he had in college to last year, battling playing time and injuries, you know, like, um, as you can see, man, he's making plays, he's showing up, and he's showing out. Um, so, man, just another brother of mine, just um, not only am I here, there for them, for him, but he's also there for me through thick and thin, and so just another great guy that we have, and I'm just excited to see him just, you know, show his value that we all have known, and now he's putting it on the field. So, uh, you know, he's going to continue to go. He's going to be very pivotal and, and important to this football team for a lot of games to win. So, you know, I'm very excited for that, and, you know, blessed to be able to work with a brother. Thanks. All right, y'all.